Today I'm going to show you how you can create a very simple, easy pop-up like this one when using the Divi theme for WordPress. So the first thing we need to do is go down into our dashboard, go to plugins, add new plugin, search for Divi pop-up. And you'll see here pop-ups for Divi. We install that, activate it, and now we're ready to build our pop-up. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my homepage, I'm going to enable the visual builder. What we're going to want to do is actually just create a row for the pop-up. Now, instead of going through and creating a whole design for you, I'm just going to use this row here as an example, get started today. I'm going to click on this and go into the section settings and I'll show you, first of all, let's go into the row settings. If I click on the cog here, I go to advanced. There's nothing here about a pop-up uh, because it needs to actually be a section. So I just wanted to show you that it doesn't actually work on rows, but we go here to our section, which is the blue area, click the cog. And you see here, there's a pop-up. Drag this out. There's a pop-up section. All I do is click on that pop-up, go to general and turn that into a pop-up. And it's now officially a pop-up. I can say click pop or something like that. So the pop-up ID is click pop. And we get a few behaviors associated with this. So we can go down here and we can close on background click or maybe you actually have to have the uh, the close button available. Make sure we close any other pop-ups in case we create more than one. Another thing we can do is enable exit intent. I'm gonna come back to that. The close button, of course, we can show that. Uh, we've also got the close and background click, so that way they don't actually have to click the close button, but if you really wanna kind of trap them in there, you can turn that off and just have the close button. And the button color is sort of light or dark and I'm going to basically, basically the rest is pretty much show the default shadow, show the loader. So if you need it to load, we'll turn that on. But that's basically what we've got set up. I've got here, click pop. I'm going to click OK. And what I'm going to do now is go up the top here and I'm going to actually just go to my cog and I'm going to change one of these buttons. So where it says contact us, it has button two. I'm going to go down to my link for button two, change it to hash hash, click pop, click OK. I then exit the visual builder. And now when I click contact us, we get our pop-up. It has shown the loader here, which is kind of, it's actually a little bit buggy. It's actually for some reason showing, but uh, you do get the option to turn that off. Now keep in mind, this is a section. So I can't edit this like any other Divi area. So I close this off, go back in, scroll down. I go back into my section and click the cog. And keeping in mind, when I go to this pop-up section, I can always turn this off if I wanna turn it back into a row. I'm gonna keep this as click click pop. I am also going to turn off the loader because I don't know why it was sort of being a little bit funny. And the close button's there, which is good. However, we want this to be exit intent as well. So if someone goes to leave the website, it's actually gonna trigger that pop-up as well. Exit is tent, exit intent is great because it doesn't get in front of the, the uh, visitor and that way it will actually only pop up when someone tries to leave. So it's a little bit less annoying, but still pretty effective. Now, another thing we can do, I'm gonna just quickly go to design for a second and go to border. I'm going to click this color and actually add a border to this pop-up. And like I said, I can go in and add any modules in here I want to. I can turn this into columns. If I wanna make this two columns, I can add an image in here. You have the full flexibility of the Divi Builder. So I can basically do whatever design I really want to on here. The Divi Builder allows me to create what I, whatever I want basically within this section. So once again, I'm gonna to go to exit and check it out. I scroll down, the pop-up doesn't trigger unless I click the button or if I go, my mouse goes up to leave we get exit intent. But again, I can close this down, hit contact us and move from there. Another thing too is this button's actually kind of hard to see. So if I quickly switch back, go back to pop up, close button, I can make it light and I can even give it a transparent background color, click tick, exit again. Now when I click the pop up, I get a lighter color for the X. However, I've also enabled click background close so I can just click that. 
That is how you can set up a basic pop-up for Divi, but there's actually another plugin you can try if you say want to have a timed pop-up because for some reason this plugin does not have a timed pop-up. It only has exit intent or click, um, but it is my preferred pop-up because of the way it works with Divi. There is another one. I'm going to pop up a video on the screen right now. We're going to go through that one in a minute, but you can use the Divi Builder in this one as well. So uh, if you check out that video, I'll go through that process. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.